Hey guys, it's Josh here with DesireTutorials.com and BuildBros.com. And right now I'm going to show you how to install a cool module and a, uh, another module that um, helps it even more for uploading images. And it's this one that allows a, a WYSIWYG into your uh, actual block body or whatever you want to do. And right now um, I was having problems uploading images. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'll show you how to install the module. See, it's saying access denied, which is a, this is a page you know that shows my 403 error. So first let's install the modules. First thing you want to come to is you want to install your WYSIWYG which is uh, at this URL, the so CK Editor WYSIWYG. Just come here, you can uh, you can uh, copy this uh, this link location and, pay, and uh, install a URL or however you want to install your module. I assume you already know how to do that. But once you have that installed, you need to come here and you need to download this. It's a required component. And I always get the full I don't know why you wouldn't. So I'm just going to save that in my downloads. Don't need that. And now we're going to finish installing our CK Editor. So since you installed the module, you should come to your uh, your root, your actual root installation, and go to your sites, all, and your modules folder. The CK Editor folder should now be in here, right here. So you want to come into that. And there's our CK Editor folder in here, and this is where you want to actually upload that file. So we're just going to upload it. So it's that one. With that upload loaded, we gotta do two more things. So we're gonna refresh the page. And we see we have this and we see extract all the files. So it's gonna be one that pulls out. So and we don't need this zip folder anymore, so we're gonna delete it. Then we're gonna refresh the uh, page. And here's the new folder it gives me. So we gotta go into that, click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one. And we wanna move everything out of this folder. So we're gonna click move. We're just going to delete the front folder so it moves it all back to the other one. Then we'll go back. We no longer need this folder because it's empty. So I'll just delete it. And now your CK editors, editor is fully installed. You want to come to this one, this URL. And you want to install this module as well so you can copy URL or however you install it. It doesn't matter. And your CK editor should, all, should look like this once you're all done. So now let me show you how to fix the actual problem I was having. Actually, just kidding. We got to tell it to uh, CK Editor to use our IMCE module. So you'll come down here to your actual CK Editor. There we go. CK Editor. And under your full HTML profile, you want to edit it. And you actually want to um, click on your file browser settings. And you want the IMCE to be um, to be the one selected right here. By default. I think it's none or CK Finder. I have no idea. Can't remember. So with that, now I can show you how to fix the actual um, access denied file upload problem. So with IMCE, there's actually a uh, four profile types. There's a uh, I'll show you what they are. So you come down here now with IMC installed. Come here. There's going to be the site maintenance account, which is the one that actually produced the account. It's the guy, it's whatever name actually made the uh, whole um, Drupal site. Then you're going to have administrators, authenticated users, and anonymous users, the same as all the other ones. And the reason my administrator, my other administrator, can't use the IMCE upload is because I don't have him as a uh, profile. And if you look at the profile, you know, it says it's all this, all the default, you know, whatever, whatever, unlimited, 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 everything, uh, big size, unlimited. Then it has all the, uh, all the, uh, whatever, authorities to it. So it can do everything. And it starts in the uh, actual uh, main route. So that would mean that my administrators would get into all my files that I have in there, which. That seems like a lot of work, so instead, I made one where um, where everything is just pretty much the same, except for the path is an actual folder I put on my browser or on my uh, root. So if you come back down here to your sites, now you want to go to your root HTML, then your sites default files folder. You put a folder in here. You can now give them access to just this folder. So right here I gave him access to just that folder, and I gave him all the rights to it. He can't explore other, um, actually he can, but he um, it doesn't let him even though I have that clicked. 
but it always starts him in that folder. So let's go back to our IMC and give him just the admin uh, profile. So we give him the admin. We're going to save that. And now that should be okay when it comes to him uploading files. So let's go try to upload a file. I'm just going to do it right here. It doesn't matter where. So let's upload an image. I'm not actually going to upload an image. I'm just showing you. So we'll browse the server. See, now we don't have the access denied, and we're inside the uh, page images folder. I don't know why I won't let him explore it, but that's okay. Oops. So now you can actually upload his images and choose whatever he wants. So that's pretty cool. But say you have a, um, you want to give rights to visitors too. So I think I have a visitors folder. Maybe not. So let's just make a visitors folder. So we're going to make a folder. So now I have a visitors folder in here. I'm going to come back to our, uh, our configuration, our IMCE. And we're going to make a new profile. So let's call it visitors. And then uh, they can display their file browser. It doesn't really, that's like when they when they view their account. Open that, some new, open that up in a new tab and show you what I'm talking about. So when they uh, view their actual account, there's a file browser here, and it actually allows you to see all the files that you can look at. But I mean, it doesn't. It's your call. I'll say no. Then uh, for the size, I'd probably say 0.25. So I don't want them killing my server. I don't know, the whole directory it doesn't matter as long as they upload 0.25 size files. Then this is a good extension. It's good size. Number of times I can do it, one at a time. But then for this one, I give them just um, the authority not to delete and resize or the thumbnails. I just give them browse and upload. Then in this, I just put visitors. So now they can only access the visitors folder. So once you have that new profile made, we'll come back to our IMCE. We're going to give it to our uh, anonymous users and our. Uh, authenticated users. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to log out of my admin that I was playing with. And now I'm just a visitor. And now just for my comments, let me go to a blog and I'll show you a comment that I can actually do. hope I have um, visitors access to the actual HTML, the full HTML. But if not, I'll show you how to fix it. Oh, so visitors can't leave comments. So let's go log back in real quick. Now that we're logged in, we gotta come to our people and permissions. And Control F brings up your search field. I'm just gonna search comments. Now we don't have to search too much the comments. So view post comments. I'll give the uh, visitors now the right to do it. Skip approval. We'll say no one can skip approval except for them. Edit own comments. Just the authenticated can. So we'll save that, and now when we log out, my let me see what um. So full HTML, yeah. So my uh, my visitors can use full HTML. So I'm gonna log out now. Control F brings up this find field, so you can just search things easily on the bottom left. So now let's go uh, leave a comment on something. And I'll show you what I'm talking about with the IMCE uploader. See, so now I can leave a comment, and when I browse an image, you know, browse server, it would say access denied, but oh, there it goes. So now I'm just I can only get inside the visitors folder. And you can play with the different rules, you know, allow it to browse or not. If you don't allow them to browse, it makes it complicated, but that's okay. And they have a nice little capture file and then the comment post. So I hope that all makes sense and was helpful for using CK Editor and IMCE Uploader. And I will talk to you guys soon.